I like Airedales very much. Stummy rep, sled rep, yell out. I like Airedales very much. <laughs> wow. Winthrop University is the best school in the world. Blural what that looks except that's it. You need to serve a new birth no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> One Trump University is the best school in the world. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do that? It's a gift. I never thought I would. John Austin is a video editor from North Carolina. He also has an amazing superpower. His brain allows him to speak and sing backwards. Back in March, he released a short documentary called Almost Normal, which explains his unique gift. And John Austin joins us live. John, thanks for being with us. Hey, thank you for having me on. This is, it's really, you know, when you hear this, you just think, oh, it's just going to be some, like, you know, trick. But it, when you play that backward, it's unbelievable. Tell us how you discovered you had this skill. I was five years old and really loved music, and my record player stopped spinning, so I went to spin it with my finger and realized that it could spin in both directions. And I thought, well, what's it like if I go the other way? And I heard Mary Poppins backwards and a lot of other things, but I learned to sing Spoonful of Sugar backwards in a couple of my dad's big band songs. And by the age of 10, I could just sing an entire song backwards. And, and as a teenager, I started learning how to talk backwards. I had a long drive to work just from singing other songs backwards and learning it because I thought it was cool. And uh, as an adult, I can just talk to you backwards <laughs> within reason, but... Um, yeah. You know, it, it, I can usually say just about anything backwards, and if I can't say it backwards on the fly, I can figure it out quick or I can write it down and then figure it out that way. So how much of this is something you developed and how much of it is something particular about your circuitry that allows you to do it? Yes, we found out after I started my YouTube channel, John the Backwards Dude, that I'm autistic. <laughs> and I didn't know it's uh, I got really alarmed when the doctor told me and he said, oh, don't don't worry. He said, you're like Thomas Edison, and you know, uh, Mozart and all those guys. He said, you're just you're wired different from other people. And he said, we're just now starting to realize what autism is. And there's a very broad spectrum there. Wow. And I'm on it. And it suddenly explained my entire life because I've had to put up with a lot of ridicule socially because we're not the best um, socialites, if you will. And um, sometimes I think I've got it. And then right when I think I've got it, I make a mistake and people just hate me, you mm -hmm. know, and I've gone through my whole life that way. And now that I know I'm able to, you know, compensate for a little bit more and uh, read those social cues a little bit better. Hmm. Wow. Hey, well, let's get just to give people a taste. We're going to look at your audition from America's Got Talent. Take a look. Sure. That's right. what they said we'd be showing. Right now. Yeah. We used to take more feet and feet. Fun an hour the run, yeah. Ready to get a gear, wood bat, not the gear, honey, ready black. Hang on, hang on. Is there something wrong with the track? It might be better if they play what we just recorded in reverse up on the screen here. Baby. Just call my name, I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry, cause they be there. Ain't no my wife. I love it. Okay, okay. How are yes or no? I love that. I, I think this is an amazing talent wow. that people are gonna enjoy. So, that is unreal. That's amazing. So, uh, John. Uh, now that you're learning more about your circuitry and uh, why, while it may have been a disadvantage growing up, ha have you found that beyond this, is, is there an advantage in, in that's applicable to doing video, edi video editing, for example? Yes, when I first uh, became an editor about 20 years ago, I worked at a big network and uh, the producers are very leery of me at first, but they started realizing that all of a sudden their edits just seemed to magically get done uh, very difficult audio edits. And one day the producer looked up and he said, you can't do that. And I said, what? He said, you can't play a sentence backwards and then have a perfect edit and you can't do it that quick. And he's looking at me like, 
please explain what's going on. Right. And so I said, listen, I can hear that. And he's like, no, you can't. And I said, I can speak back to you. And he's like, no, you can't. And, and so I spoke it back to him and did it on the microphone and then said his name. And this guy jumped for joy and excitement out of his chair. And he said, man, he said, you are worth your weight in gold as an editor. And by the way, get on television. <laughs> uh, it, is the, it is such a cool thing. So what do you have planned? We know you did this short documentary um, and people can still find that out there, John? They can. If, if you go to my YouTube channel, which is John the Backwards Dude, you'll see the trailer um, highlighted on, on the page. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find the documentary. It's called Almost Normal through the eyes of autism. Well, it's, and it just shows my yeah. life, you know, what my life has been like. And it starts off really hip and, and crazy and everything the way my life is now, but then it, we start going back in time and it becomes sad. It's a sad film, but it's a very good watch. People have loved it. Well, I'm sure people that are familiar with the struggles of autism will take a lot away from it and, um, and what you can do with your life, John. So it's a great story. You can find him on all the social media channels, and there's all the info on your screen. And the documentary is called Almost Normal. It's John the Backwards Dude. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me on, guys. All right. Time